Tom from Connecting Tennis here. Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna keep going with the series of how to clean, how to improve, how to correct, how to uh, have a better technique. And today we're gonna focus on the two-handed backhand. Remember, we have forehand, we have backhand slice, we have kick serve. Today I'm gonna give you five different drills that you can do that are really gonna help you to improve your shot. Okay, some of the movements are included in courses of biomechanics okay so it's very important what I'm giving you here great exercises to help you clean and have a really really smooth technique on your two-handed uh, backhand so remember please give a special attention to all these drills all these techniques because they're gonna help you really to improve okay and to have a, a really nice and, and a good looking uh, backhand but not only good looking which it maybe it wouldn't be the most important thing a really consistent okay consistent and strong when when I say strong is not powerful when I say strong is because it's consistent is because you have it controlled and because you can play it the way you want when you want okay which is the most important thing to be able to control your shots and execute the shot you want when you want and when you did it all right five one uh, five exercises let's go with the first one all right, for the first one, what we're gonna do is starting, okay, always going from less to more to recognize the shot and every stage of it. So what we're gonna do, as we did in forehand and the, and the one-handed backhand, but this time we want a longer uh, elastic band. We're gonna put the racket inside and we're gonna break it down into steps, okay? First one, sideways. You can see the strings going there. Very important that the arm is not full extended, okay? The non-dominant, non-full extended and non not too close to the body okay a good point of relax here so you are able to hit if it was like a forehand so a strings pointing to the side you can see how i'm showing you already my back my shoulder because i'm turning my unit of turn okay here a little bend okay don't be so uh, relaxed here stay like if you want to hit the ball okay committed to the shot one two point of impact three pointing forward you're not gonna go all the way down here okay one, two, three. One, two, three. Ideally, you don't want to be too close. You want a little challenge from the rope, okay? Not too much. The idea is that when you get to the point of impact, it's already stretched, and then you need to make a little power forward. So what this is gonna create is that you're gonna start to understand and to get conscious that after the impact, you need to keep going okay you need to keep pushing forward with the racket of course sometimes most of the times you're gonna finish back here okay you can see the potro always with a good finish here sometimes depending the speed of the ball and how the ball of your opponent is coming you're gonna hit fast and stay here because maybe you're taking it down the line or you're playing more uh, a flat backhand but in this first one okay with the elastic band one two point of impact three forward all right let's go with the next one For the second one, what we're gonna do here, and this is probably the exercise that I've been doing since I'm a 12 year old when I used to hit two-handed backhand, and I, I'm sure that it was the exercise that helped me the most to get the sensibility of the, of the hand that I needed to be able to hit different angles with my backhand. What we're gonna do, it's close to what we did on the first one, but instead of grabbing the complete grip, you're gonna grab only with one finger you can see here one finger at the bottom and the other hand closer what this is gonna make is that you're almost doing the shot only with the hand that is pushing okay in my case the left hand and it's gonna give you okay a lot of mobility on the hand to be able to hit different shots i spend hours and hours doing hand drills with my hand here okay hitting with this free hand to understand the movement that I needed on the back end to hit different shots to get from under the ball, all right? So we're gonna get here again. Put the racket into the elastic band. We're gonna put only one finger, okay? Only one finger, the racket here, and then we do the same. But at the moment of the point of impact, then we're gonna let it go only with one hand. So it's gonna be like this. One, two, 
and then keep going and then here we can finish with the, the complete shot okay one finger here only one two and then let it go but you can do it now fast like if you were hitting okay one two let it go one two let it go one two let it go all right well this is gonna help again a lot into getting the motion of hitting the ball and having the freedom of the hand playing just like if it was another forehand okay believe me i made this exercise so many times for many many years to get a good sense of control and uh sensibility in my hand to be able to play different shots all right let's go to the next one all right guys third exercise we're gonna keep working a little more into recognizing the movement of the left hand in my case okay the upper hand on the back hand why because it's probably the most important thing to know and to understand and to feel okay when people say he has a great feeling on the back hand all the work is done by this hand and how you control it okay if you want to play down the line if you want to take it from under and play a, a good short angle okay this one it's here only guiding and to keep going but everything is done with this one so when you see people saying oh going into a wall okay hitting into a wall only with one hand it's gonna help you a lot to get it strong and to get sensibility it's actually great okay so what you're gonna do here is hitting the shot like we were doing here behind with the elastic band but only with the left hand all right so you're gonna get okay position shot like if you were with a complete backhand get the racket here don't get the racket from down here just like it was like a forehand keep it on the place that you would have the hand okay to hit the back end so here hit and finish all right you get another ball here hit and finish you can do several balls here hit and finish one more here hit and finish all right this is gonna give you a lot of control if you can get somebody to do mini tennis rally like this okay it could be even with orange or green balls just to help you to understand and you're gonna feel how you are improving when you get to hit the ball hit the ball okay in a good point of impact always moving getting point of impact and then finishing you can even come like this and the moment you're gonna hit you let it go okay it's gonna give you amazing sensibility on the hand you're gonna be able to control the backhand the way you want of course with many 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 balls and many repetitions into this exercise which is really important of course to get uh, the perfection you want into the shot all right let's go to the fourth one All right, so number four, almost getting into the end. Now what we're gonna do is hitting the entire shot, moving two steps, but the moment you hit, I want you to get yourself into a slow motion. So how you do it would be? You're gonna come from here, you wanna do a split step. One, the moment you hit, I want you to start a slow motion, okay? Once you start to get the racket, stop for a little bit into a point of impact and then keep going and fall, okay, transfer the leg which is very important when we get into the football park all right so it's gonna be split and fall let's go again split and fall let's go again split and fall all right you're gonna do it many times mark okay feel this part of a point of impact and then keep going and make it good transfer so you're gonna start already to understand how you'd hit it more in a real game and of, of course step number five we're gonna go into a hitting okay already hitting balls toss into yourself and hit it all right let's see the next one and for the exercise number five okay what you're gonna do is just hit in the normal back and you're gonna get into a baseline toss the ball for you and hit it control okay 
don't look for power don't look for any extra uh, any extra thing on the back and just go with the simple okay from less to more remember you created the entire movement now you're feeling good you're feeling clean so just keep going into a movement and hitting the ball then when you get with somebody else to hit the ball you're gonna be able to put more power but here only worry okay into keeping uh, into keeping the good movement that you did along the five exercises all right the bounce here on the court it's kind of uh, tricky so ideally try to hit it when it's a good bounce So what's important here is that if the ball is bouncing to any side like it was here, you're gonna start to hit in different positions. So you can do this one by yourself, tossing the ball, or you can go into a wall with a foam ball on an orange ball, which is gonna be no speed at all, and hit it, okay, as low into, into the wall, or if you have somebody to toss the ball. It's easier when you do the, the one-handed to control because you toss it and you hit. Here, you need to toss it a little higher so the bounce could be a little tricky. Don't mess your shot, okay? Hitting balls that are bouncing in the wrong place, all right? So these were the five exercises, guys. I hope you really enjoyed them once again. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you didn't, share with your friends, okay? The more people that we can reach, the more people that I can help, all right? If you have any suggestions, any questions, let me know in the comments. It was great doing another video for you guys. Thank you and have a good one.